guys, it's Ema Name, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some of these random bracelets. I'm not really good at it, but I've only done it once. So, let's try. So, the first thing, open it. I'll be back, I need to open it. Okay, I opened it. The things that are in it instructions these things which is how to make the bracelet i don't know if i will do it the way that it is made to be doing the hard way i might just use the wall and like thread it that's what i used to do with my friends at school last year when we were bored um there's measuring in here i think i randomly just put that in there that's if you're doing it this way i tried one of these you need to like keep count of where it goes but it is so hard yeah my dad tried to help me it didn't really work um and the random crayon in here and then random coloring pencil in here this is my brother's um so, and then in here, you have all your wool. Now, I will show you all the colours of the wool. So first of all, there is blue. Orange, with a bit of blue on it. Red, with a bit of blue on it. Brown, with no blue on it. Yellow, purple, light blue. Pink, white, with a bit of blue on it. Dark green, light green. And last but not least, black. So... All the colours. And I've also found some extras in here from trimmings that I've done. Oh, in the box there's more black. And I don't even know what this is honestly. So the way I will be doing it is tying them at the start. And then I will be like knotting them I guess. I might do a plait for easy. And then I could do like a series of these videos and get harder and higher. So yeah, let's get on to the video. Okay. So first thing we need to do, pick the colours I want. I don't know what I want. I had a great idea. I could do the colours inspired by my outfit. So the three main colours I'm using. Pink, white, and black. My tights. And then my socks are white and green, but that's okay. So, if I do black, very different. Pink, and white. I feel that would look actually really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go set it up on, I think I might use my thing that's got my phone on it. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I've got my colors. The white is way shorter. Um, now, you could just tape it onto the surface. I tie it instead of tying it after when the pattern will be falling out while you're um, tying it. Puppy. Sorry, my dog's here right now. So, I feel like just doing a single knot here will be fine. Now, you want to tape it to the surface, and the surface I'm using is that. So, I'm gonna grab some tape. I will be back. Okay, so I'm back from grabbing tape. And I taped it to my little wood thing. And I also cut the ends so they're the same length. I will show you guys. That's it. So, now basically, since I'm doing a plait, you basically plait it. You want to make sure the ends don't get tangled up or else it will turn into a huge mess with a knot. I've had experience. So, I will start it and then show you guys in a sec. 
Okay, I'll show you how it's going so far. At least i got to keep my hands on it or else it will come unnatural. This is it so far. Also, like this video if you know how to do a play. So I will do some more and be back to you guys in a sec. So, this is it so far. I haven't done that much. I also think I did a little muck up, but it's alright. No one will notice. Also, giving you... Sorry. Um, giving you... I'm going to kneel down now. Really hurting my back. Leaning over. If you don't know the measurements or anything, just every now and then check your wrist. And you also want to do it longer than your wrist. You could even do it so long that it turns into a necklace or shows so short that it turns into a ring. So yeah, you can basically turn it into lots of things. And what else could you do it into? I'm starting to think. You could wrap it around your glasses. I don't know if you have glasses. Like this video if you have glasses. I think I didn't look up again. It's hard because it keeps turning. It is painful. Um. Anyway, I'll be back once I figure this all out. Okay, I figured it out because of these were tied into a knot, so I couldn't move them as much. Helpful tip you need to know. Also, if you guys are wondering what wool you use for this, or it doesn't even have to be wool. There's like string, kind of. But you could also use, like, really thick wool and make a really thick bracelet. But, yeah, you can basically do any. Oh, I'll actually just stop that for a minute. Yes, it will stay in. And I will show you one that my friend made for me. She's an expert. Um, so, yeah, I'll just get it. So, she made this. She made it in our school colours last year. But look, look at that pattern. I don't know if you guys can see. But how? Laura, if you're watching this, tell me. How do you do that? Like, look at it. It also sadly doesn't fit around my wrist. Well, it's hard to tie it up now. But yeah. So, let's keep going on to my one. Okay, so I'm about halfway, and you guys are probably wondering, that's probably taken like an hour. It's taken about like, I don't know, um, maybe 15, 20 minutes, but it is worth it in the end. Like, it's a really cool bracelet. So yeah, trust the process. I will show you guys when I am finished now. Okay, so I have finished. Still taped on. Now I will tie it up and put it on and show you guys how it looks with my outfit since it's expired. Expired. It's ex. I can't speak right now. Oh my gosh, guys. This is the cutest. And it goes with my outfit. Oh. Anyway, please subscribe. Turn on notifications. As I say, you guys know the drill. Anyway, like if you want me to do one of these that I learned at the thing. Maybe it's like you just tie, tie a whole bunch of knots. I don't know how to explain. You basically just tie a whole bunch of knots and step plates. And it looks super cool. So yeah, tell me if you guys want that. Anyway.